Hello everyone, uh, it's Dan Green again here. Today I just want to make a little short video about holsters. Um, I've recently started carrying a Glock 48 MOS, as anybody who's watched any of my other videos has probably seen, and I needed a holster for it. Um, and holsters are something that anybody with very many guns for very long probably has you know, the proverbial drawer full or box full or whatever of holsters that they've gone through over the years. And I'm no different. Uh, I've got a few of them out here today um, that I wanted to share with you and, and just and give you my thoughts on what I'm using now for my Glock 48 and, uh, and what I, why I'm using it and what I think about it. Okay, so first off, I'll start with saying that for for many, many, many years, I carried a Glock 19 concealed carry for my job. And in that though, um, Glock 19 is a decent size uh, pistol and not, not the most comfortable to carry inside the waistband, although you certainly could, and not the, not the absolute easiest to conceal. But at the time when I first started the job, they were requiring us to wear sports coats anyway and so, and they issued me an outside the waistband holster like this one. And uh, this is a DeSantis. And I wore a holster like this for probably 20 years or better. And, and uh, same holster, went through a few, two different Glocks, I think, two different Glock 19s, and, the, and it held up fantastic. It would creak a little bit when you moved around sometimes, the leather would creak. Um, it was extremely comfortable, but it didn't ride real high. And so if I, you know, outside of a sports coat, it wasn't the easiest to conceal. Uh, it was very comfortable, worked fine, had thumb, thumb brake retention and was, was good. But, um, over time, I stopped wearing the coat all the time, and I just started wearing a shirt that I could wear outside of my pants. And this holster, you'd have to have a shirt that hung down way low to conceal with this. And I just didn't feel like it was the best look and just it wasn't the greatest answer. I started looking around and I went through a, a variety of, of holsters trying to find what I liked. And I ended up deciding I like Kydex holsters. Um, I can be a bit of a traditionalist in a lot of things, but I decided that the Kydex holsters inside the waistband were secure enough for me and comfortable enough for me. And, and just, just, I liked the thinness and lightweightness of them. Uh, all the ones I have used had good retention. Uh, so I didn't worry about the gun coming loose, even though they weren't as secure as something with a thumb break over them. Uh, they held the gun very securely and I never had any issues with any of them uh, feeling like the, the gun would come out or could come out or the holster could come out of my waistband. Never had any, any issues and I ended up buying several holsters from a company called Own Your Six. This is one of my Own Your Six holsters here. I believe it's for the 43 and, and it just it's very thin, it's very light, um, it fits securely. The gun is definitely not coming out. Uh, it's got an adjustable clip where you can cant it if you would like. These cost about 36 to $40 and um, I just really like them. So I bought, I, I bought one for pretty much every gun that I had and used them uh, almost exclusively. If you, I don't know how it, well it's gonna come up, pick up on the camera, but the Kydex that they use is thin. And I, the one I had for my Glock 19, I wore it practically every day. And I don't remember how long it lasted, but eventually it did develop a crack in it. And um, I called and I believe they replaced it. Um, pretty sure I got that replaced, but anyway, it wasn't, it didn't happen quickly. And I, I was wearing it, like I said, a good five days a week and all day. And so it got a lot of use. So even though I did have one that cracked, um, I still very happy with the own your six uh, holsters, especially, you know, paying like 36 to 40 bucks for them. Felt like it felt like that was reasonable. 
However, when I purchased my Glock 48 with the MOS, On Your Six does not sell one for them. Uh, so I looked around and I ended up purchasing a We The People holster, and uh, which is a, another brand. And they are $41, I believe is what I paid for this one. And I bought one for the 26 as well. And um, they come in, you can get them black or carbon, fake carbon fiber or whatever. Um, and, and so I thought I would try a We The People holster and they sell something called the claw that is supposed to help the holster, you know, be more concealable. And it, it's another 18 bucks. So I guess $59 for the package here with, with the holster and the claw. And the Kydex on it is significantly thicker. I'm just not sure that's gonna show up very well, but anyway, it's, it's a noticeably, considerably thicker than the Kydex from the On Your Six. And the price is about the same, maybe about five bucks more. Um, if you don't take into account the, the claw. Um, the other difference in them is the On Your Six has a rivet here that holds the Kydex together on, on the, the, the back part for the retention. And the On Your Sixes have a rubber grommet with rubber washer, I guess you call it, with, with a screw. And you can tighten that down or loosen it up and adjust your um, retention, adjust how tight the retention is. The On Your Six, I've never had any trouble with retention on these, honestly, never had any trouble. But it is nice, a nice touch, I think, to have the adjustable retention. The other, one other nice issue, a nice thing is the, the clip that goes under your belt on the Own Your Six, I mean, excuse me, on the We The, we the People holster has a little tab on it so you can get your finger under it and it makes it easier to take the holster off if you don't want to take your belt off. This one, it grips the belt very well, but almost so well that I just, I just about have to take the belt off to take the holster off. Um, the, this one is easier to remove and it's easier to get your hand under it because it's got the little tab. So honestly, as much as I like the On Your Six, I think I've switched over to a We The People holster uh, guy now. Um, now what about the claw, the $18 claw that you that I purchased? I only got one of them, so I wanted to try it. I only spent 18 bucks on two, or twice if I didn't like them. And it's just a piece of plastic here and it comes with a lot of options. It's got two tabs. Of, this is the thin tab and it's also got a thick tab. And basically you can mount this to the back of the holster or to the, or to the inside of the holster or to the outside of the holster. But what this is supposed to do is make contact with your belt or the inside of your pants, I guess. And, and it draws the holster back in because what I find when I'm carrying the grip of the, of the pistol is what prints on me, on, on my shirts. What this does is it turns it. And so it draws it in tighter to my body. Instead of sticking out, it's tighter to the body, um, which does affect the draw a little bit. It's a little bit harder to draw, but it does make a difference in how concealable it is. And having used this now, this is going to be my new way, you know, this is going to be the way I carry pistols from now on. Which, um, I haven't had the holster long enough to really say anything about the reliability, but I can't imagine that it, I mean, they're just simple little things. I can't imagine that it won't be more reliable, or at least as reliable, probably more so than the On Your Sixes, because the Kydex is thicker, the material. In fact, it, well, it just feels like a plastic almost, but, but anyway, it seems very thick and very durable. I can adjust the tension. Uh, I can, it, same as on the On Your Six, I can adjust the cant if I want to. There are lots of options about how you install this. Like I said, you can use a thin pad or a thick pad. You can put it on the front, you can put it on the back, which will, which will um, adjust how much it pulls against your body. And I just really like this. I am now a fan of the We The People holsters with spending 18 extra bucks and get the claw, I'll probably go and order another claw for, for my 26. 
Um, and I just don't have anything bad to say about them. I have used a variety of other um, holsters in an attempt to find something that was concealable and comfortable. And I bought a few guns at a, at a, at a police supply store and the, well, they sold to other people as well. But anyway, uh, they catered to the police community and with the guy that worked there, he used one of these stickies and he carried his gun in a sticky all the time. And he swore by it. And I don't know if this will fit in there. Yeah, it fits in, fits in okay. Then look, the red dot gets in the way a little bit, but they're kind of general guns. I think I actually, you yeah, know, the 26 fits very nicely in this one. And you just, you just put this on under your belt. It did, it wasn't secure for me. The, the guy in the store swears by them, the salesman there, and says that's all he uses and he wears them all day every day he wears a pistol of course and you know working in the store and he swears by it. i just didn't it did not work well for me i did not like that at all um i have this other desantis um which fits the 26 and was very much like the desantis i had for my 19 and they're great, they're reliable, they're durable, they're comfortable, they're just harder to conceal. And, um, you know, because this is an outside the waistband. Uh, in an attempt to, to stay, this one hasn't been used much, it's not broken in. Um, in an attempt to stay traditional, I, when I bought my Glock 43, I, uh, I bought this Milk Sparks holster. Milk Sparks is a um, very nice company. Make excellent, excellent uh, holsters. Their workmanship is fantastic. Have no complaints about it. But it um, it works fine. I have no issues. It, leather holsters do have to be broken in. That's another advantage of Kydex. Kydex, you don't have to break in at all. You, but the, the leather ones, you do. And this one, I just haven't used enough to really break it in because. I just didn't find it as convenient or comfortable as the Kydex. It's, the leather's thicker. Um, I sweat a good bit here in Florida, out in the sun, and it gets, I, I just, I think the Kydex is just better for me. So, anyway, that's, oh, and, well, this, this is a Versa carry that I think I carried my 357 Magnum in. Um, I just needed a general holster for that. Um, Although this may not be, but it's got a place for a magazine too. I don't, wouldn't have made sense for my 357. But, and then I, I even tried this because sometimes I like to wear shorts and a t shirt. And this is like a belly band with Velcro. And you insert the pistol here. It's for a small pistol. And uh, insert the pistol like this. And this one doesn't even look well, it would fit. Just gotta stretch it up uh, like that. And then you just Velcro this around you and you don't need a belt at all. And you can you just wear it with your, you know, knockabout shorts. Um, I think part of my problem with, with systems like this is uh, I'm thick. <laughs> just put it nicely. I've been thicker and I've been thinner right now I'm in one of my thick stages and stuff like this just doesn't fit to my waist with I just didn't feel secure with it um I mean it will work and it's you know if, if you want to wear gym shorts and a t-shirt and still carry this this is probably about your best bet you'll need a, a very small pistol so it's not pulling it down and you know that's one thing I want to say about all of this is that's uh, holsters are extremely personal. I can tell you my views and what's worked for me, but your body shape may be different and your tolerances may be different about what you like and don't like. So uh, I, I'm comfortable telling you what the reliability of things are, but whether you'll like them and they'll work for you or not, I think that's why we end up with a drawer full of holsters, right? Because somebody said they worked great for them and they tried it and it didn't work at all for them like this sticky for me. That guy in the gun store just talked and bragged and bragged and bragged on it. I didn't like it at all. So, you know, whatever. Um, now, one thing also is 
magazine pouches because I always, when I carry, I almost, almost always carry an extra magazine. And so I found that We The People also sells an adjustable tension magazine pouch. And I think they probably sell maybe a couple different ones. I'm not sure, but this one, this is the stock Glock 48 magazine. And that's what I've got the tension set up for. So that's how that fits. And then you can, you can wear that inside your belt or outside your belt, depending on, you know, turn it one way or the other, however, however you wanted to, to do that. Just turn the magazine around. I also have a, the shield uh, S15 holster, I mean, a uh, magazine. And this will work for it, but I would, because it's metal and it's slipperier and it's tiny, tiny, tiny bit, well, uh, it's, it's, I think it's just the material being slipperier. I found that I need to, I need to tighten it up, which is about that simple. Just tighten it up just a little bit and now it, and it gets more secure. So anyway, but I have honestly found these don't work nearly as well for the S15 Max as the one that Shield Arms puts out for the S15 right there. That work, and you can swap the clip from one side to the other for it, it as well, so you can carry it inside or outside the waistband, whatever you prefer. So in summary, I would just say, if you're looking for a holster, the We The People holster has been fantastic. I, I like the claw. It does make it more concealable. Um, when, I, when I put this on without the claw on, it's fairly concealed, but you can see, uh, with most of my shirts, you can see a little bit of a print of an imprinting. When I put the claw on, it draws it in. It's a tiny bit less comfortable. We just have to get used to it. And it's a little bit different on the draw. Um, it's a little tighter to your body. You have to be more secure with your grip. But those are just things you can get used to. As far if you want to be, if you want to keep it concealed, the claw here it it works as advertised. I I, I do I do like it. So uh, that's all I have for today. If you have any uh, specific questions, please put them in the comments. If you found a holster that works fantastic for you and you think other people ought to know about it, let me know. Put it in the comments. I'd love to hear what's worked well for other people. Um, I have my strong opinions on what I like, but you may have yours as well. And I'd love to, love to hear them. Uh, in the future, I am in the process right now of buying a new lock box for my for a gun safe, whatever you want to call it, for my beds, beside my bed for, for night quick access. Uh, the one I have now is not working properly anymore and I'm, I'm buying a new one. If you have one that you'd highly recommend, let me know, I'll probably be ordering the next day or two though. I've already got one picked out, but I'd, if you have, a, I'd still love to hear your opinions. And uh, when this process is over and I've had a chance to see if, if what I chose works, I'll let you guys know about that as well. Also looking at doing a, a shotgun video. Um, I've got a shotgun that I really like a lot and wanted I might share that with you guys. So uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, as I'm making this video, uh, Russia is attacking Ukraine. Our gas prices have gone through the roof. It's an interesting time in the world. And uh, I just uh, hope you're doing well. Thanks and y'all have a great rest of your day.